If you're feeling that there are energies around you that is difficult, that you feel like at home, um, there's some negative energy, or you're always feeling um, sluggish or tired or exhausted, or you wanna you wanna elevate the energy even at your home, like something positive. Um, at the end of this video is I share my secret on how I keep the energies at home. And I hope that this is also gonna be able to help you. So you can watch a tarot and then at the end, I'll share you the secrets, okay? Mm. You're wondering what to do next and if there is a future in this relationship. You're finding yourself guessing every time where you're standing. You feel that Am I wasting, you know, my efforts, my energy? You're doing a lot of thought process here. You're contemplating on more of the stability and security. And um, it's more Aries of like, is there something good out of this? Because I've been focusing on this relationship for quite some time now. And is this going to lead to marriage or us being official? You're about the future. Your focus really here is more of... Um, the future of the relationship because you have put so much effort and you've been patient. The Three of Wands is a card that waits for the relationship, I call it, or the shipment itself. So let's continue that, okay? King of Pentacles, how much you are invested here? Okay. Um, having the King of Pentacles... Hmm. Having the King of Pentacles shows that your person is apprehensive. They're quite not sure if they want this. I mean, their ideal partner, because they're a King of Pentacles, they work a lot. They're very stable, probably financially, with the King of Pentacles. Um, but every time it comes to the relationship, you're the one who will get the breadcrumbs or the, um, you know, like, it's not their priority. And that becomes the issue here with the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. It's like, what about us? What about our future? Where is it going? Because your person puts their energy and effort elsewhere besides the relationship. And I feel like it's already affecting you. There's always that part of them that they tell us like, well, I'm sorry. You know that it has been a challenge for me. I haven't been really... Um, Focusing on myself also. So your person claims that they do have other things that they are working on. So your person now comes off like, first they're doing good. Sorry guys. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Okay, weird. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the interruption, guys. Okay, I just, I just don't expect anyone. You know me. Like, okay, I got, I got sidetracked. Okay, so you have here the Page of Pentacles, um, which is showing that you're more about trying to understand. It's like, okay, what are you telling me with the Page of Pentacles? You probably expect your person, if that's an omen, to come towards you because it's a page. Um, it's showing here that because they're apologetic. Like, they know that their efforts are becoming less and less. Okay. Less and less. Page of Pentacles with the camera. And look at me here. Look at doing that. The same thing as you're doing. It's like, all right. Yeah, I mean, okay. So they keep giving you the runaround. They keep giving you the same old excuses here. That, you know, at some point, we'll be together. This is the promise. Your person is giving this to you right now. It's like, oh, you know what? Don't worry. Um, once, you know, the situation gets better, we can be, we, you know, we can make it. We can make it happen. Um, we'll be together. You know, Ten of Cups. Like, I love you, care about you. That's a Ten of Cups. Um, Page of Pentacles here with the Ten of Cups. It's showing now that your person, not Page of Ten of Cups, it's, hmm, okay. It feels like they lack a lot of things, but 
the love part is something that you get from them. You know, like, they may be, like, um, caring or they are concerned about you also with the Ten of Cups. But they have their shortcomings, I understand. And that's why you're weighing it out right now. Right now, It's like, where do I really fit in this person's life? Because it's like, I can't be, like, a being string along. Mm -hmm. So, you're now with the Nine of Wands over here. Hierophant. It's like... You're too hurt because why should I beg? And I don't want to beg. You're feeling the sadness and the loneliness of not being with them. And you're torn between, I'm sad that they can't, but I want to be that nice person also where I should be considered. You're not coming off as like, well, you know what? Goodbye. No, for you, it's just like, well, it's sad. I know, like you're going through something. It's difficult. Nine of Wands with the Hierophant here. Um, you have been let down again by your person. They're asking for forgiveness here. They're asking for like second chance. But second chance to what? This is what you're asking. It's like you're asking me for something that we don't even have. That you can't even give. And you're asking this from me. You're asking your person here. Also, it's like does that even make sense to you? See, the Four of Wands, which is the relationship. And that's where you're at right now. You're thinking and contemplating about, it's like, you're asking me and we're not even together. You can't even be with me. You have either they have family with the Ten of Cups or they're involved or they're involved with something else that makes them happy. And then they're asking, it's like, no, work this out with me. Understand me. Like, listen to me. This is what your person is saying with the um, Four of Wands here. Oh, I don't do reversal, but the King of Cups is coming off as a reverse. Okay, um, it's more of like uh, I feel like you're gonna you're still gonna say to your person, it's like, no, I do care. I love you, Queen of Cups. It's okay. And I feel like you you would let them off the hook again. Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. It's okay. Mm hmm That's what you're telling me. Magician, okay. Um, I feel like part of you is upset, but part of you already is it's like, this is really pushing me to my limit. This is pushing me to the edge and it's not helping me, okay? It's not helping me. Queen of Pentacles, you guys do, I mean, you guys are a pair. Like there is a lot of promise here. There's a lot of future here, Four of Wands, right? King and Queen of Pentacles can be an earth sign. You guys love each other. Love is not a question here. Love is not a question. That's different. If the, if the love is a question, that's something else. Like, that's hard. But here, it's more of like, they can't be with you for earthly reason. Responsibilities, career, money. Um, but of course, it can be like a workaholic and you never see this person, you know? Like, they could be just always about um, their time with what is important for them. And this is what you're saying. It's like, it's a waste of my time. Uh, a lot of earth energy here. Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. You guys are having right now a argument where there is like, to give this still a chance. Two of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. Let me show you guys the cards. Okay. Okay. So from what I'm seeing here is like you guys are not agreeing Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Swords on where this relationship will be headed, okay? It feels like, you know, it's a, it's a dead end kind of thing. Um, with the Two of Swords and Ace of Pentacles, you're questioning, is it really worth it for you to put an effort here? So then let's do my grand reveal. Let's answer all the questions here. So what I'm going to do here is each card right here, I will do a grand reveal, okay? So the future of this relationship, okay, let's see that. If they're still invested in you, let's see that. If they have a message for the Page of Pentacles, because that's them, you know, the sorry part, let's see. Now, the uh, love, the, oh, there's an Ace of Pentacles that came out, put it here. Let's see the Ten of Cups over here where the two of you did promise to each other that you guys will stick this through. You're a little bit defensive. Let's see if you're dealing with an Aries, if they're going to open up. 
um, will things get better with the Hierophant? The promise that they have given to you with the Four of Wands, will they push through on that? Let me see what else. Magician, are they just lying to you and making you believe that there is a future? Okay. If you guys are not talking with the Two of Swords, no contact, no communication there because you guys had an argument, whether where it's going, then let's see where that goes also. Okay, so that's my grand reveal. Let's dive more in the extended link in the description box below. But don't forget, eTreeLove.me. We have everything that you need for anything that you're manifesting. All right, I'll see you guys there. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Consult a Mystic. Okay, so this is just an impromptu consultation with me because I was on my phone and I was looking at uh, one of a uh, person's question over here is about um, protection from energies at home. So for me, there is this two crystals that is very important to protect yourself from all the negativity around you and outside of your residence. Now, these two crystals are so important that I have it all around my home. Mm -hmm. These two crystals are able to deflect any energies that is not for your higher self or your higher being, which means they're very protective. They're very angelic. They absorb the energy and they deflect it. What I mean by deflecting it, it does not absorb the energy, but what it does is it repels it. Mm -hmm. Have you feel, uh, like, was there a time where you feel sluggish? Where you feel that it's just like, you can't, uh, you know, you don't have the vibe in the morning, but the day before you were fine. You may be having what we call also catching the evil eye. When energies change all of a sudden in your life, you're feeling good, you know, energetic, everything is good. And then, I don't know, you know, because some people's energy around you, who you don't know, or some people that you do know, may not mean well towards you. Some people have this in their chart and they're not also aware that they're giving you the evil eye. These are people who can um, say good things towards you and all of a sudden your favorite bracelet is broken and they just basically said like, oh, that's a very nice bracelet. Mm -hmm. In my country, we call it nabate, mm -hmm. which means someone has caused or brought the energy towards you. Now, this also applies in your home. You go out and you come from work, you come from your shopping, you come from your trip. You do bring energies. You are a magnet of energy because you have energy within you. Now ask yourself is, do you have these two important crystals inside your residence? Let me show you what it is. This is selenite. This is black tourmaline. Why do I have it in fours? So I believe that in the four corners of each of residence, like meaning your home, okay, how many homes you have, you have to place this together, okay? Now, you can put it in a window. You can put it, of course, by the doorway. You can put it um, at the back door if you have, um, you know, if you have a front entrance and a back entrance. So any place where an energy can come through. But you're going to ask me also, but Sal, I live in an apartment, so four corners. I have been doing this and have been practicing this forever. Any place that, I, that they do consultation with me, I recommend this um, crystal. So selenite is a very angelic. Mm -hmm. Black tourmaline absorbs that energy. When I was just starting to practice reading and all these things, metaphysical and magical, I always have this. I put this behind my kundalini or my my uh, the lower part of my how do you call this of my backbone, um, and it absorbs all the energy there because I will always feel like I'm running a fever, that I'm you know like I'm I just have this hot energy coming from my tailbone all the way spiking up towards my uh, my forehead it's like it's just a heat coming out constantly constantly and before I, I wasn't able to handle it I would get drained by that energy and it feels so like I'm running a high fever basically so this is what I used before you know but you know now 
okay, coming and working with this crystal, with the black tourmaline, okay, um, it has the energy of absorbing energies that is not for you. So you put this in the doorway together with this, of course, selenite, we know that this absorbs the energy. This can also, okay, if you're cleansing a crystal, this is not, this is not a selenite, this is a Lemurian crystal, okay? Like there are crystals that absorbs energy. You can cleanse the crystal. Some people, they tap it, okay? And then it dispels the energy that the crystal has because crystals do absorb the energy. So this is um, selenite and black tourmaline. Now, there is a link in the description box below. I call it the home essential. I made it myself because anything I practice, I do share it to everyone. And someone was just asking um, how to protect your home, your residence, from any kind of negative energy. Again, you will know if there's some sort of negativity inside the home. People are getting sick, okay? And it's right in the home, meaning you carry it with you. Starting to get sick, brain fog, um, you know, like your sink is clogged, um, you have a, you know, your sink, your toilet has issues, water problems, you have, um, how to call this, like, I hope there's no pest because that's a different problem once you have that. Like you will see the energy in the environment and in your space, there's always something wrong. And once it starts to manifest in your health, then of course, that's a, that's a different issue. So I always do the cleanse at the house. Of course, we just had a new moon. There is a full moon coming in on March 6 and March 7. We like to do our cleansing during the full moon. March 6 and 7, depending where you're at, it's going to be in Magha Nakshatra. It is going to be um, a full moon in Sidereal Astrology. That's what I practice. And I like doing my cleansing during the full moon. We just finished the new moon during the Mahashivarati. So it first weakens, waxing and waning. Now it's gaining strength. So if you want to do your cleansing and your protection, you can get this in the description box below. The whole kit is available. You get four of these and we'll be happy to um, ship it to you before the 6th and the 7th if you are trying to do some cleansing and protection for your home. Okay, so ever ask that question and for everyone who's finding this information helpful. Now, for everyone who, want, who has some questions with other things, mystical and magical, put it in the comments and then I'll answer it next time when I do have the time, but I just have the time today. So I'll see you guys again and that's your home essentials.